Hello, um, this is gonna be a weird episode because I'm gonna be doing a lot of post editing, but uh, I'm basically going through everything. I've, I'm, I'm retracing all of my steps. I am uh, filling in every single map. I'll update you occasionally on my progress, but um, this is a, I don't know, weird extra dungeon that maybe I missed on um, the island of something something i can't remember it's it's the extra island that you have to take a boat to originally um and uh i i was like oh what's that staircase did i like you know i just wanted to mark it on my map basically like i wanted to start marking things on my map and basically if the dungeon is like already explored i'm just gonna like oh i i'm starving that's why i'm not um regaining anything hold on let me just go ahead and eat some food where's my food where is my food mushroom jerky um i just wanted to mark it on my map and then i entered it and it's like oh are you sure this is a big time dungeon and you're gonna have to find a master key and i'm like what okay well, apparently this is something so um i'll you know we'll, we'll do this dungeon and then uh, after that, I'm just going to continue searching through. This doesn't seem like a very, like, difficult dungeon. Like, these are pretty small time enemies. Um, come on. Pugilus Pendant. You picked up the master key for this dungeon. You may now leave via the exit. So what's the pugilist pendant? Uh, gives me stun defense. Cool, cool. Um, kind of, kind of pointless to TBH, but hey, uh, we did it, and uh, this is something I can mark off my map as being not helpful. Really short dungeon. That's the shortest dungeon I've seen in a long time. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of nice, honestly. Oh, wow. We're shiny bug right at the last step. Let's, uh, let's not bother with that. You insert the master key into the door at the top of the stairs. The key turns to dust as the door open into the outside world. Uh, th that must be something they added to the game, because I don't remember that being a thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was an Endura uh, herb, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that off as well. Uh, not sure why that is like question marks on the map, but uh, you know, that's fine And uh, I'm gonna continue to fill in the map I've basically done this little chunk over here and I'm gonna be going down and filling in this portion of the map um, This may all be very unnecessary, but you know, I kind of want to do it anyway. It's kind of nice so, um, you know, as, if you've been watching my, my Caves of Cud, uh, str series, I'm gonna be going into highlight mode uh, so I'll see you soon enough. Okay, I just want to make sure that I've done this dungeon, and it actually doesn't look like I have. Uh, this looks like a devotional tier. Three allies will summon him. I thought I did this. Did I not do this? I swear to God I did this. Um, well, I don't think I have enough, um, constructs. I guess um, this is a, a good test to, to see if I summon the wolf and then I take um, a couple of potions of Staria Draft. This is a total waste, by the way. 100% not. Well, I guess it is kind of worth it. I drink a couple of these. I guess I only need one of those and then a Staria Root. No, nope, I'm going to need two Staria Roots because they're only 30. And then we do a Paragon. I wonder if I can... Can I summon the wolf again? This is a, a good test to find out uh, if, you know, how these things work. So if I do the paragon again... Nope, it just resummons the paragon. Complete waste. Oh, that sucks. Change the alliance of any mechanical foe or destroy traps and collect their components as ancient scrap. I mean, that's kind of cool, actually. I wish I'd 
grab that a while ago. I don't have a third summon, and I don't think I have enough to make a construct. You require eight scraps of ancient metal to repair this. Well, um, let's just mark this on the map as, you know, pending. Sucks that I wasted some Staria draft and brew to, you know, on that without fulfilling it, but that's fine. We'll go back into highlight mode. See you soon. All right. This is probably nothing, but uh, I'm checking it out anyway. And yeah, it's, it's a, um, it's one of these, which is fine. I, I need to do more of these so I can make some more constructs, but it's still, uh, you know, not what I'm looking for. Uh, which is fine. Oh god. So, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, I've saved. You can, um, see how much of the map I've covered. Good lord, that's... I mean, that's quite a bit, but it's not... It's not as much as I was, I was thinking I had done. Um, but yeah, I've covered a good quarter of the map so far. Um, so I'm not even gonna, like, you know, cover... Like, I'm not even gonna include this this dungeon in the uh, footage uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and um, I'll see you when I see something more interesting all right well my journey has uh, brought me conveniently at this uh, temple of the mace so I'm gonna go ahead and knock this one out real quick and then I'll be able to see if maybe um, it will uh, allow me to use it with a shield be kind of nice. I don't expect it to. I'm doing the wolf instead of the uh, angel in this case. I, because they can attack with me. Oh god. This is not going well at all. Uh, alchemy. Let's do a large potion of healing. Just gonna fire off on them. Okay, this is going a bit better. Am I I'm not accidentally hitting my wolf, am I? Nope. We're good. Wolf is good. Appreciate the wolf. Wolf is dead. <laughs> Halterin. Um, all right, let's have a quick look. Halterin. Can we use Halterin armor? with a shield nope wow the shield is almost worthless i gotta say <laughs> like give it making a shield not work with just about every other weapon is like functionally worthless i i cannot c cannot abide by the by the shield i think it's kind of pitless um Okay, so I'm just going to continue as I was. I'm kind of moving in a clockwise fashion around here and also uh, marking things off as I do. Uh, I guess I meant to mar mark this off, but I didn't. So I will go ahead and continue doing. I'll see you soon. Okay, I have found something. I, I didn't... Oh, wait a minute. I can't d disembark here. Um, I didn't manage to explore this area. I don't know why not. Oh, alchemy. Amberbane oil. Yeah, this is a whole section of the map I guess I missed. This might be what I'm... No, this is still more devotional tears. What do we got? He's called by a banishing light. He's called by a ban... Oh, oh, Amberbane. Right, okay. Um, let's go ahead and call our wolf and uh, knock, knock the wind out of him. This, uh, this bow is working wonders. I gotta say, the bow is so far the best legendary item I could have gotten. Because it really, it, it makes ranged combat, like, exceptional. Um, and we're gonna leave, and there's, there, I think there might be more here. No, that's kind of it. Um, there might be a bit more on the other side. I'm noticing, oh god, but that requires entering the great forest uh yeah this seems like a whole chunk of the map that i could have 
explored but missed so i mean that's one of the reasons i'm doing this is you know really kind of dotting our t's and our and crossing our eyes you know um found some lesser ruins that's that's gonna be constructs uh i'll go ahead and continue being in highlight mode just to save you some of the extra unnecessary little skirmishes like this and um i'll see you soon okay we've got our first little chunk here summon him with death um how would i do that do i have to like wait i could wait for my wolf to die i wonder if that counts um but other than that i don't know how i would do that could be death's harlequin is there any death's harlequin things i could do place a small annoying doll on the floor which will explode a short time later um what about feign death i know that's hallowed ground where's feign didn't don't i have feign death somewhere uh i might be thinking of a different game entirely berserk shockwave hurl slam battle charge escape escape would have been nice at some point uh i don't know how i'm gonna summon him with death i don't think i can die if i die then i'm dead you know um but, 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 but let me see let me see what i've got do i have anything Anything I can use? I still don't have enough to make a construct. I don't know what to use for this. I really wouldn't mind having an extra devotional tier. Collecting these would be nice. So I don't know, I'll just like wait for my wolf to die and if that doesn't count, then uh, you know it is what it is then uh, i'll just move on from here and mark it as like pending it takes a long time for the death to die death to die the wolf to die unless i i, I don't know yell death death no <laughs> i mean you know worth a try right it could be the sibirun word for death no they died and i still haven't summoned them okay uh, I'll come back to this. We're gonna mark it on the map with that, and I will move on. Oh, getting ambered. Blowing through our amber bane, but that's fine. We'll buy more. Um, okay, yeah, we're... I know we've done this one. I know we have. Oh, I already... I guess I already marked that one. So, uh, we're just going to this north chunk over here. We've already done Slethen's Wood. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, now we're starving. Um, and probably, uh, well, I could have potentially avoided combat. I'm going to have to eat some food. Let's just summon the wolf again. It, it just, it's too good, you know? Summoning wolf and then, like, I've, I've noticed I can attack through the wolf also with the bow. Which makes it, like, just ridiculously good. So, uh, I'm very happy with this combo. Okay, so what do we got over here? Aha! Uh, well, this'll be a com- We'll have a combat first. So, what- what is this? Temple of the Reaper. Temple of the Reaper. Okay. Um, we can summon a second guardian. And we're pretty close to being able to. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. Uh, let's take a Staria route. Enter. You shall not take my prize. Wolf, why are you standing in the fire? You know. An innocent enough question you're not attacking the dude and you are just gonna wander around on fire 
I'm gonna have to tank this sword so that my paragon actually does some damage. She, the paragon's doing some good damage. I will, I will say. Open for one more good hit. Yeah. Honestly, the bow is proving to be more reliable than like the scythe. Harvester. Can we use the harvester? I know we can't use it. Listen, I know we can't use it with the, the, the shield. I, I'm almost given up on that. Uh, originally created as part of the Krenaya Atil War Spider. Seeing the deadly life draining results of even one stage of the work, the project was abandoned. It does like a lot less damage. Requires a crazy amount of perception. This must be um, Lord of Dust's uh, weapon, but like, what is the point? I, I have to ask if we can actually use it with the shield. Otherwise, this seems like a complete waste of time. Because like, look, Great Scythe is 62 to 125 versus 56 to 70. I know it does magic damage as well, and you know, that's nice, but it doesn't do bleeding. Um, it has less critical hit. Does it, I guess it has, um, does it have like two handed? We can't use this with the, the shield. Attack time 20, attack time 30. It has slightly less attack time. Seeing the deadly life draining results. Well, so it seems that it has uh, the ability to life drain, which uh, I'm down for. If it, if you know, depending on how effective that is. So I'm just gonna fill in the rest of the map here as best as I can. That would be it for that. Um, that was pretty good. Is there anything else in this forest that I haven't explored? Doesn't look like it. I think I've explored everything in this forest now. Okay, so I'll do um, another cut here and I'll continue exploring the world and uh, you know, we'll keep we'll keep knocking this stuff out as we as we do, as we go. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, so apparently I haven't done the Temple of the Rapier. Oh no, my wolf got locked out. Dumb. Um, I can resummon them. I thought I did. I don't. I don't know what God's Needle is. If not, uh, maybe it's a dagger. Maybe I did the te Temple of the Dagger instead. Um, probably gonna need to do a potion, health potion. I can just do a regular one. Uh, never mind. Might actually die? I'm, oh, I'm, I'm starving. That's why I'm not getting any poise. And I'm probably gonna die eating some food. Nope, not yet. Okay, cool. Uh, large potion of healing. Almost died just now. Wolf. Health low. I know health low. Okay, I very narrowly scraped this together. Ah, uh, that was a very close call. The harvester is pretty good, by the way. It does actually recover health, I believe. Oh, wait a minute. I did do this. So I just completely wasted my time. Oh my god. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is there. Why did it uh, summon the guardian if if I've already claimed the the item? Oh well. Um, you know, I'll continue as I was. Okay. So apparently, I had already found the magma chamber. Apparently, I already found the magma chamber. Um. Did I do the magma chamber though? Uh, can you let me off? Thank you. Did I do the magma chamber? 
is is a question i am i'm gonna ask we're gonna go visit it and then we'll mark it off my map our, our map not a big deal if i already did it and um i just didn't recognize that i had done it not a big deal um we'll just uh, mark it off our map and and continue you know marking things off our map it's, uh this is why i'm doing this it's mostly so that i can you know check check excuse me can i please move <laughs> i'm like pressing the button repeatedly and it's not doing it why why are we so slow to like act right now um i just want to get this meat you can hear that right like i'm hitting range three times before it actually lets me do it i don't know what the deal is there but it's actually really frustrating <laughs> um all right seems okay now maybe it was because we were torpid i don't know probably because we were torpid eat some food yummy 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 okay leave and then let's check out the magma chamber okay apparently we were here apparently we were here and i see that the chest up there is empty So, kind of a bummer, because I really thought that Magma Chamber was the one we needed. I did not recognize the, the words when I saw them. Um, like I say, not a big deal. That's, um, we're just gonna, you know, continue. There's a little bit that I haven't explored here, apparently, but, um, you can, you can see the map. I've almost completely filled in all of the... Uh, I'll call it ocean, but I really I, I I'm doubling down. I think that this is like kind of one big lake Because that's what it feels like, right? It's it's surrounded by land and mountain. So that's Technically a lake, but I'm not sure, you know, like uh, I did you know, I, I had the privilege of going to Iceland and uh, I saw um basically what used to be a volcano i think it still kind of is or at least there might be some activity that had like exploded and then imploded and um this is apparently a phenomenon that uh okay it hasn't happened very often but basically like instead of like exploding uh it just kind of caves in and leaves a giant crater and then over time that crater fills up with water because you know it it rains and you know so uh there's just a big lake inside this volcano and it's not you know totally dissimilar to something like this so it could be like uh this is similar like you know uh, maybe there was a big old meteorite you know uh I know this this game is a successor in many ways to Ultima. I don't know how over the top Ultima got. Honestly, this experience of Moonring is uh, making me think that maybe I should try some of the old Ultima games. If you're a fan of Ultima, <clears throat> maybe you'd like to. <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Maybe you'd like to recommend me an Ultima in the comments. Uh, which one do you think I would do well with? You know. Uh, considering how often i miss like really obvious stuff like apparently scoping is a thing that i can do and i haven't been doing that at all i'm not sure what that does but um you know that's a thing that we can do and i i, I could have been doing that i i have occasionally heard a little dink like a little sound effect yeah like that so what is that What does that sound mean? I don't know what that means. Yeah, like, I keep hearing... I think that just means that my, uh action is back like if i use my cannon yeah it just means my action is back that's just i'm reading way too into it but what does the scope do 
the scope is, you know, meant to do something. I wonder if it was like a easier way to like fill in the map and I've just like completely filled in the entire map not knowing that scope actually like <laughs> fills in the map completely or like surrounding you like I wonder if I did it here near no I don't know Also, I, I realized that the cross swords means uh, I was in friendly fire, and that just means I fat fingered uh, pressing the the E key to like exit or enter. So mystery solved there. I'm learning all kinds of things again, you know. But yeah, if there's an Ultima game uh, based on my my uh, performance, I'll say of this game that you think I would fare well with, I, I'd like to I'd like to know. I'm considering an Ultima game in my future. Uh, my Moon Ring series hasn't been like, you know, one of my most more popular ones. It started pretty good. That's all series, though. I don't expect series to like do well long term. Um, so but, you know, it started pretty well and I'm, I'm happy for that. And uh, I think that over time people will discover it. And I think that over time Moon Ring will find more of its audience and then you know that's that's where i uh get find a, a few more fans i find a, a bit more of my audience when when people discover these games and rather than playing it they they decide they want to watch someone else play through it which is cool um i don't know what that scope does but i have a funny feeling it does actually fill in the map there's not really a good way for me to figure that out now there's a couple of spots here and there. Uh, it does actually, like, I don't expect to find anything there, obviously, but, you know, as long as I'm filling in the entire map, I may as well. Okay, so I'm here. What happens if I use the scope here? Yeah, that just filled in, like, a huge chunk of the map. <laughs> uh, I, I, I was traveling back and forward the entire map. The entire map, I, I, I played this in, entire game not knowing that the scope was a thing. That you can, just a button press and it just fills in and it's... <sighs> I really, uh, I really have a problem, don't I? I really have a problem with, uh, like, not seeing very helpful, obvious things on the interface. And, uh, good lord, that's, that's a new one. That's a new low, I think, for me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've done worse than that. Who knows? I'm gonna save. Um, this is Tower of Sword, which I've done. You won't trick me, game. I know you want me to fight that guardian again, but I will not. I will not. Um, okay, so... Let me, let me have a quick look at that guide I had open. Let me see here. I'm not, uh, I'm not ex spoiling too much. All I wanted to look up was, uh, all of the dungeon names that give me, um, that give me a locust part. So the two, the dungeon names are Bale's Tomb, Poison Cross, Inflamed Glade. Oh, that one, maybe I haven't seen. I probably have seen it. But either way, I think we should check these off one by one. The only one I know for sure that I've done is the Venom Cube. I know for sure I've done that one. I know. Like, I know it. I know it. <laughs> right? Right? I've done that one, right? Hello? <laughs> Don't... Hello? Um, well, yeah, hopefully this will be an entertaining episode. Hopefully my complete ineptitude is entertaining in, to some degree. Um, I'd like to think that it is. But, you know, we all know the truth. Hello. Uh, I should sell a bunch of stuff. Like, I could sell this. 
rapier and this crossbow and this hand axe and oh you're out of money okay do you have anything to buy angel icons burn it to clear curses from this deity and shift moon phases to the umbral hey that's an interesting idea i could how do i i wonder i don't know how to get like cursed by gods crystal cube seems to hold infinite realities within using when use when standing over a minor dungeon entrance to warp the reality within interesting dust icon i wonder angel dust blood clear curses the only there's it seems to be one missing here is it the wolf yeah um does is a wolf icon not a thing maybe it's because this village doesn't like that god but i'm just wondering if i got cursed by all other gods then i would get some harlequin de devotion so i should buy one of these one of each of these i know that's expensive Um, that's probably a dumb way of spending some money, but I have a bunch of things that I have not been selling. So, uh, I'm gonna be cool with that. I am, in fact, good with that. Can we buy some food? Boar meat. I'll buy... I'll buy some boar meat just to eat it now. Uh, do you have some money? They have 3,600, so... Oh, apparently I bought two angel icons. I meant to buy one of the other icons. Shoot. What what other icon do you have? Harlequin icon. icon. I don't think I bought that one. Right? Uh, well, anyway. I, I'm pretty sure I have one of each that this... This, um village has to offer um halter in god's needle okay you don't have enough money you don't basically have any money uh i'll let's eat the food real quick i just want to buy some potions if i can and i'm kind of out of money so it is kind of a problem wow you don't have like any money I'm not going to sell any amulets. Mm, I'll sell a short bow, though. What kind of um, potions do you have? You have all of the potions, so I really need to go and get some money. Uh, armorer and weaponsmith should have money. Wow, they don't have any money either. That's kind of a bummer. Let's sell some of these rods of shadow bolts. I don't expect I will ever use these. Hey, armor smith, you must have money, right? Like you, yeah, you've you've got some money. Let's sell the leather helmet. Yeah, um, just gonna sell like all of the rods of shadow bolt. Not not like all all, but most all. Okay, you're out of money. I should have enough now to buy, like, replenish my reserves of potions. Potion of healing. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Okay, I guess this should be the end of the episode. Um, what are we doing next? Well, I guess what I'm doing next is I'm going to look at... Uh, I'm following this list of um, dungeons that should have a locust part in them and i'm going to go to each one and see if i can't find the last locust part when we have found the last locust part i might try to complete a couple of gods quests but uh other than that we're going to be retrieving relics these like god relics by uh, completing the big dungeons like honestly i don't even need to be retrieving locust parts right now because the Locust parts are only necessary to acquire one of the relics, and I already have dungeon locations for the other relics. So it's kind of a, you know, it's not really a big deal that I I don't have all the locust parts. Like, I have other things I can do, but, like, I have to get them anyway. 
so I may as well search for them, right? Like, I, I figure I'd I'd like to have know the location of all of the god dungeons before I start doing them. And, you know, hopefully that will complete other things as well. Warning, this is a dungeon. The doors will lock once you enter. You have to find a master key to leave. Um, what is going on with these dungeons? I, I feel like I've done Albin's Bane. Have I not done Albin's Bane? Fast doors lock behind you as you enter. You'll have to find a master key. I wonder if, um... I wonder if the game was updated and there are some like bugs like I wonder if the the dungeons got kind of reset in a way that's a little bit convenient but also kind of a problem um don't have enough for a wolf so yeah, this does drain health, by the way. The uh, the harvester, I, I misjudged the harvester. It is actually very good. Ooh, that hurt a lot. Uh, I guess I'll complete this dungeon before we end the episode. It shouldn't take me too long. Do we have a... Yeah, we have a... So let's try our revelation. Yeah, revelation shows us secret doors. I like that it lasts a little bit of time. Like, it's not an instantaneous thing. Um, you know, I, I would have... The temptation for something like um, revelation would have been to have it work like a search. Like an original rogue. Hey, I get to, I get to reference original rogue. Remember that game? when it had a search feature or function and you uh you had to like search at the end of every corridor so that you would uh detect traps and or not traps uh secret doors and stuff like that it's a good thing i've actually played original rogue otherwise you know i wouldn't have a frame of reference for a lot of the things that we consider kind of normal honestly i think it's weird that like, there are traditional roguelikes that um, use the search function. Obviously, Adam comes to mind. Um, Adam is, like, a fairly OG uh, traditional roguelike. I don't know about NetHack. NetHack is probably a... Um, it's probably a game I should play. <laughs> like, I know it's almost like the king of traditional roguelikes. That's kind of why I haven't played it, is because it feels like a game I need a PhD in. <laughs> like, uh, it seems so insanely deep that jumping into it feels uh, intimidating. I I'm sure someone out there can relate. But um, I was just concentrating there to uh, not die or not get hit by the... Uh... You found the large copper key. Not get hit by the traps. Yeah, I, I, I'd l I wouldn't mind trying that hack. I just, I don't know. It's a lot. <laughs> Everything I read about it um, tells me I would love it. But also, I would hate it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the, the, I would love it once I got to know it. But the learning process would be such, so painful that I can't imagine that I would enjoy myself. Specifically myself, not the game. The game would be fine. I, I noticed there's something over here. I'm going to do a revelations over here. Hmm. Ouch. How come... What is over there and I can't see it? Okay, well, we'll find out. There's probably more of the dungeon around here somewhere. Ah, secret, secret door over here.
this uh this harvester weapon is really gonna be quite nice We got a file of blood for our trouble. Oh, goodness. You shouldn't have. No, really. Stop it. Um, well, that still doesn't answer the question as to what was, like, clinking and clanking over here. Ah, there was a secret door over here. I feel like this game did get updated and these dungeons feel a little bit more roguish in nature. Maybe just specifically this one. But uh, I definitely don't remember there being this many secret doors. Giant's amulet, huh? Can I pick up the master key? Kind of wish I had the escape spell so I didn't have to deal with running back to the entrance. Um, it's not a big deal, but would save us a bit of time. I think I'll just end it here. Um, if you've got some advice in the comments, you know, feel free. And uh, definitely, again, let me know if there's an Ultima game that you think I would enjoy. Uh, I'm happy to hear them out. I'll, I'll, I could probably pick them up on GOG for, you know, the price of a sandwich. Although sandwiches are getting pretty pricey, you know, with that inflation these days. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll definitely hear it out. Um, you know, uh, reasoning as to why I would enjoy them would be helpful because, you know, that tells me, that helps me prioritize. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Don't, don't tell me if I should play NetHack because the answer is probably yes. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a good one.